In this video, we're going to quickly look at how to use RPG Maker's built-in character generator. You can find the generator by going to Tools and Character Generator. By default, you can select between three body bases, male, female, and kid. Each of these will generate a face graphic, walk-in character, damaged character, and side view battler. You can change each part of the character by selecting an item on the side such as face, beard, eyes, etc., and choosing an image from the variation section. You can then also change the colours of each part by selecting what to change and selecting a colour. Some items may allow you to choose more than one colour, such as clothing parts with multiple coloured sections. The hairstyles are split into two, so you can choose the front hair and rear hair separately. You can also offset the position of each part using the arrows on the right side, although the position is eventually capped if moved too far. If you want to quickly generate characters or look for inspiration, there's a randomise button that will randomly put together different parts and colours. To use these characters in your games, save the images by clicking the buttons in the bottom left. Click Face Image and save the image into your project's Faces folder. You can also use the Export and Import buttons to save the character onto an existing sheet. Click Walking Character and do the same, but save this in the Characters folder. You can also save the damaged character in here. Lastly, save the Battler image into your project's SV Actors folder. These images will now be available to select in your project's events and database. Thanks for watching, and happy game developing!